Welcome to my workshop. In this video, I will tell you how to make a bird's nest for Easter decor, interior or photo shoot. The main ingredient we're going to use is some dry grass. There is a lot of it this early spring in any field or forest margin. You can also find it in a pet store. So let's begin. I take a bowl with the bottom of the same size I want my nest to be. I double the bottom with a couple of layers of foil. Now bend the edges inside and add a few more leaves of foil shaping a bowl that will become the base for our nest. Four to five layers are just about enough. Turn the base over and lay the dry grass over it along the perimeter, like this. Now let's get to the glue gun. Apply some glue to the base and press the grass to it. Do the same all along the base perimeter, making the pitch of 6 to 7 centimeters between the gluing points. Now let's cover the bottom. Shape a wisp of grass like this and glue it down. Make a few more wisps to cover the spots where you still can see the foil. The rough version of the nest bottom is ready. Now turn it over. We're going to work on the edge. Apply some glue on it and lift the grass on the sides up, gluing it to the edge to make sure it's fully covered. Do the same all around the perimeter. Whenever you see a spot where something is sticking out or catching your eye, apply some glue and press the grass. Until now we've been gluing just the bottom layers of the grass, the ones that stick to the foil. Now do the same work on the top ones. You can add glue not only on the nest itself, but also on the grass that we're gluing down. Now let's cover the inside of the nest. Grab a wisp of grass and arrange it like this. I couldn't help but take a picture of this beauty. It's such a pleasure to work with natural materials. Apply some glue to the very bottom and cover it up with the grass. Add some glue and cover it with grass in every spot where the grass is sticking out. 
until the nest becomes a whole and stable construction and all the foil is covered. And the last stroke. Sew up the nest all around the perimeter over the edge with a thread. The needle runs easily through the foil, but it made me fully realize what it's like to be looking for a needle in a haystack. You can't see it there at all. I had to move my needle around to detect where it came out by the grass blades moving nearby. Thus we strengthen the whole edge of the nest. I've got quite a lot of grass lying around on the table, so at the end I've used it to cover up the spots that didn't seem perfect enough to me. Shake off everything that didn't stick, and cut off everything that's sticking out. And the nest is ready. It looks amazing on the photos. Now we're having fun with my sister, decorating our nest with some moth and twigs. Looks just like a real one. This will be my Easter decor for this year. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, hit like and watch my other interesting videos.